Your chicken sure likes to be with you and pick on everything on you. She's mean. At least she's not pulling your hair out. To, oh, like, never mind. <laughs> Perry, you love Sunday? <laughs> you love all things Sunday? Yeah, you want to be with her all the time? <laughs> she's just slipping my piece. Oh, whatever. Oh, here she comes again. Brace yourself. Ow, that was my skin. Ow! <laughs> Silly chicken. Where is she? It's gonna be really cold. It's got the mother in your hair. What does that mean? That's the the chunky pieces of apple cider vinegar. It's like, it's like a scoby. Ooh. Ooh. Ew, get the mother out. Okay. Do not see it. Mm. Yeah, well, let's just consider it conditioner. Okay. What? You're leaving it in my head? Yeah. It'll comb through your hair. What are we doing with it now? You're going to put it in a towel. There you go. Wrap your hair up. Like. Mermaid hair. Let's see. Can you brush through it? I'm scared. Oh my. Is that worse than usual?
Yay. <laughs> Mommy says she doesn't know how to brush long hair. And I'm starting to believe her. <laughs> Ooh, what about technique? The technique? Too shabby. We're getting through it nicely. Yeah. I feel like that was a good call for your hair. Good call, oh, my word. <gasps> my ear. Sorry, you don't need that. You never listen anyway with it. Teenage daughter. You're lucky it's recording. Why? You can be real. Not time yet. You just do you, boo. <laughs> Whatever your sister left on the bathroom floor. At least I didn't get blamed for it this time. Yeah, because yours is in the other bathroom floor. <laughs> Great is your faithfulness <coughs> to me. genius child <laughs> with the snort and all kind of verifies it I have my booty well if your hair weren't so freaking long wouldn't it be hitting your booty I done. clearly I'm not Medusa How long has it been since you actually washed your hair? Um, a little over a month. So that was the first time in over a month that anything has touched your hair other than water, water your yeah. hands, and a brush, right? Yeah. Nice. And no one said anything or been grossed out by your hair? No. Nice. Except like Hannah when she well, sees it at home. I like but even when you were washing your hair, there were still times it was greasy looking. Yeah. Now it's just always greasy looking. Huh? So this will balance the oils and the pH. That's nice and soft. Mm. Mm. Ow! I got hit with a baseball, remember? Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry. My squeals of pain mean nothing to you? Okay. What did Do you do? The I don't want to hurt yet, so. You didn't get a better shot on your beauty. <laughs> that is one long mop, sister. No. Ooh. Oh, there's the mother. Ew, you're lying. I, well, no, I wasn't. Is it that right there? Yeah, all right, you got it. Yep. Honey, we can clean it out. Oh, Thank it came you. out. Fantastic. Oh, the mother. Better not have left any babies up there. Those mothers like to hang. Ow! Out. <laughs> you can you brush straight back and kind of get it from stuck off the top of your head. Oh, like you mean my part? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. I have never had to do my arm like that to brush my hair ever. Even when my hair is its longest. Good for you, man. Good for you, man. That's what I have to do every day. Huh. Oh, what you been drinking? Oh, soda vinegar. What you think? So you're just gonna leave it like that? Yeah. You're okay with dry, letting it dry? I would suggest that it looks to me more soft 
and like fluffy back here than it has the last few weeks. But we'll see what it looks like when it dries on top. <laughs> okay. Does it look or feel any different to you at all when you're brushing or whatever while it's wet or not? It looks less flat, I think. Okay. Like melted to my head, I think. Okie dokie. Hello, man. We'll give you a report. I have something else to do. Yes. Okay, we're gonna put a drop of joy in one. Hand. <laughs> I have to cough your lungs up and a drop of cedarwood in the other. Both are good for hair growth. And cedarwood is known to increase your ability to think. Nice. And I'm thinking. Oh wait. Oh wait. I'm thinking it would be beneficial for you. Joy. Because I need more of that. Yeah, you do. I do, putting up with your crap. Cedarwood. Rub them together once. Don't do a lot of rubs. Just do one quick and then work at your scalp and work through. My hair is cute, too. It's all right. <sighs> oh, dang, Mom. Do some mm. of the ends, too. Okay, whatever. You smell good, anyway. First time in a Put long on time. this morning. Get your pits too. It was wet up in there. I do sweat, Mom. Ah! Ooh, I can't see my abs. Look at you, it's like you've been working out or something. Can you see them? Mm, man! Hey, hey! Cover thine self. Okay. Hey, Mom! Mom. What? Finish the phrases, okay? Finish the phrases? The phrases. Okay. Um, I forgot what I was going to Oh, yeah. Peanut butter and... Jelly. Um... Chicken and... Waffles? Okay. Okay. I've never liked... I've never understood that concept. You have pink on your shirt. Just water. Oh. Or is it oil? It's just water. Okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Think I could do that? What'd you do? I can't even get my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my feet look so dirty. Ow, that kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. Now I gotta make it even. Okay. What do you do? You go straight up? Mm -hmm. Ah, ouch. Okay. Okay, you show me the other side too. Oh, digger helps. I don't know which one I just did. Move that one. You always do that one. Ah! That hurts my crotch just watching you. Ooh, it hurts more right here. I can't yeah. really do that. I'm left left side or, like oriented. I can't bend. I can't straighten my knee. Okay, lovely. If you want me to paint your toenails, I need you to go get the paint. You have to choose the color. No, you can choose the color. You're the one wearing it. It's your toes. You don't paint it. Okay, but I don't give a rip. You're so fascinated with your dogs. All right, I'll choose the color if you get the tools so I can get the yanky, cranky, junky block out from underneath your toenails. Well, I'll get the tools if you get the color. Okay, you go get the tools first. No, Ow, my because toe the tools come first before I can do the painting anyway. What? So you have to go get it. You're just trying to lure me into your bedroom. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You come in there in the freaking middle of the night and wake me up because you want to talk about girl stuff. I literally don't do that. Oh, well, maybe like... that was your brother. My brother? Yeah. Talk to you about girl stuff? Yeah. Like his period? Uh, no, honey. Or like he likes females. Stop it. Don't be pecking on me. How is it that you come out half naked and I have all the stuff on? It's cold out here. I need slippers and a jacket. Hey. Alright, let's see what happens in this rendezvous. She's saying she might knock that phone over. 
Perry. <laughs> All right, let me see these nasty things. They're not that good. Tell me, Perry. Don't peck me. Stop it. She's so woo. Stop. Perry Winkle. Shall I put my hair in a bun so she can pick at it? Something. <laughs> That's lovely. Trixie, you're in my light. In the spotlight. What is she doing? Come Perry, here. it hurts when you pack, honey. Come here. <laughs> All right, stop it. Can you just show me? Why well, my toes look dry? I think they're dry. You're dangling. No one asked you. You just asked. I didn't ask. I'm the only person here. No, you're just talking to me. You need to get the gunk out of there. You get the gunk out of there. Do you have the child? The mush what's I don't know what it's called. A file? But yeah, the file isn't what you need to get gunk out. Well, I you need to push it. your cuticles back. So do it. Yeah, so you can scream at me because it hurts so much. No, no don't hurt. Then I do it. I won't scream. No emotion. Don't cut my hair. Didn't even. You considered it. Mm -hmm. It crossed your mind. Your ankle's hurting me. I didn't touch you. I'm so confused. That's me. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How you doing, Sunday? We need to, I'm not going to do them. They need to be wet, so I'll just start painting them as is. We can use my shoes. <laughs> Great is your faithfulness <laughs> to me. <laughs> Oh, that is hideous. You told me to choose the color. Oh, my word. She just laid an egg, buddy. It's all right. Why is he freaking out? He's still learning the sounds that they make. He's too new and young. Would you be mad if I cut my hair? I mean, I don't think I'd be mad, but I think I'd be like, all right, dummy. Just a little. Like an inch or three. An inch or three? I mean, I think you'd be mad if you cut your hair. What about Rio's whiskers? I mean, he might need those. Like, God gave them to him for a reason. You mm -hmm. know. <laughs> like, snakes have tongues for a reason. So they can go... Mm -hmm. That's how they sense what's going on around them. I mean, we have toes for a reason that help us keep our balance. That's not why I have toes. <laughs> Yuck. Men have penises what for a reason. Of, okay, I don't need to know that. Well, apparently you do because other people in our society don't seem to understand that there's a purpose. You were born with this. Keep it there. I was not born with a penis. No, you were not. That is true. Maybe. Do you know what you are? Um, I know what I was born as. And what is that? I was born and assigned. Female. Female? Who assigned you? The doctors. No, 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 no. The doctor didn't give you your vagina. You don't know that. I do know that. I was there. The person, well, I'm sorry, let's say that better. The being who assigned your gender, your sex, whatever word society chooses to go with now. Ew, that one looks janky. It is janky. Why'd you do it like that? Because you're wiggling. I'm not wiggling. Was the Lord. He put it there. So, And he's the only one who gets to make that call. He assigned you that because he had a purpose for that. But that does obviously that doesn't mean you have to be... You don't have to have long hair. You don't have to paint your nails. You don't have to like pink. You can lift weights. You can play sports. You can hold down jobs. It doesn't define your your role or activity per se would you hold still you better wipe that off well maybe you should hold still so 
So the one who gives the assignment is the one who gets to make the grades do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I have a rash on my foot. I don't know what it's from. Mmm, and I'm touching your feet. Yummy. Alright, how's this one? Should we do a second coat? I don't know. Oh, honey, you just put your pants on your toenails. You are a freaking it's moron. It's dry. It is not. Well, it didn't get on my pants. dramatic and everything you do. Would you hold still? Sunday, would you please hold still? It's hot out here. I was just thinking, oh, I'm starting to feel a little warm. It feels it's wonderful. Hot. I wouldn't say it's hot. 50 degrees is not hot. It's hot. I need to put my leg down so make sure you don't bump into my oh, jeans. Oh, I will. Try not to. Ew. Sorry. That's like glitter. You gotta be on your head. Should I smack it or leave it? Just leave it. You sure? Mm-hmm. You look hungry. Yeah, what have you done? God bless us, <clears throat> everyone. That one hurt it. Can I do your dogs next? My dogs need more than just paint. They need to have the old paint taken off. That's bright. I know it is. You said you wanted bright pink. You're picking the color. Yeah. Why? Why? Oh, yeah, he's rinsed again. Why? I can feel the baking soda. Me too. I don't care. I'll do it tomorrow or tonight or something. Gotcha. Great is your faithfulness. Do you see my rash though? Mm hmm. It's been there for a long time. Come look at it. Honey, I was looking at what I was painting your nails. No, I'm gonna try to cut one of them. Sure, I'm hungry. Check it out like another one. Ow, bad idea. Like a skin tag. I'm growing skin tags, mom. Oh my word. It's fine. I didn't mess it up that bad. It's just right there. I like it like that. Of course you do. Oh my goodness. The shadow? Like, I can't really see it because of the sun. Mm -hmm. That looks like a person standing by. Oh, us. it does. It's just a folded up umbrella, but it does kind of, doesn't it? Alright, I'm ready to go and drink some water. Maybe I need a juice. I'm ready to go drink some alcohol. We don't do that here. Mm -hmm. Not at age 17. No. Oh. Yeah, when you shower tonight. Can I use your arm as a sleeve? I mean, no. Can I use your sleeve as a tube? No. You may not. You can use your hair. My hair? Mm-hmm. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. I think we've had a bunch of excitement. Hi, Mom. Hi, what's up? 
What you doing, Mom? Oh, we're recording again, are we? I'm juicing. I'm feeling hungry, so. So your solution is to drink juice? Well, I mean, it's the last day of my fast. I've got to stay strong, but by golly, I'm tired not eating. Okay. Doesn't that look yummy? It looks like something. That don't look like very much. That's actually a pretty good amount this time. There's, I think there's more liquid in. I did an, a whole apple today. What are we doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Riz Master 3000. <coughs> Ooh, there's a whole lemon in it too. Oh, I don't want to share this. it. Never mind. Oh, why? Because you're home. Because you don't feel well. No. You're coughing up a lung. I feel good. Clearly. Do we have to be recording everything? Watch me now. No, stop it. <laughs> no, we're not having periwinkle. Want to have Trixie? No. Well, hi, Garnet. Oh, there's a red one, too. Well, hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awkward. It always irks me, or like, makes me like, think, like when I see Christian females dressing like immodest. Like, makes you think what? What do you mean? Like, icky, or not icky, but like, how are you doing it? Well, what do you consider immodest? Like with everything hanging out. Well, personally, how you're dressed right now, I don't consider modest. Would you wear but that I'm out? But I'm at home. I would not wear this out. Like maybe the gym. Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> like a full coverage, like, like this kind of, this top, and then like, leggings that Wait. like high-waisted leggings oh, so not, like not this, booty shorts no like this but like leggings okay so, like form fit. so what do you wonder what's your concern like what are you thinking well i mean the bible does talk about like modesty doesn't it yeah but i mean what it, you you started off with like you always wonder what do you wonder like it makes me wonder like i don't know like you wonder that they're in the wrong or well, let's process through that. Why would it be wrong? Because it would turn on the boys. Get their motor running. Isn't that what, you, probably why they're doing it? So then they're not. I mean, I'm not gonna say that's what every female thinks when she gets dresses like that. No, I'm Dress talking like about that. like Christian I'm females. Not. Okay. Oh. Are you a Christian female, period? So, you're wondering what they think when they get dressed, or? I can't, I'm still, I mean, I know what you're talking about, but I'm trying to figure out what is your question, or what is your concern, or what are you thinking? Do you think it's a poor representation for Christians? Yeah. Why? Well, not for Christians, but it's just like you're perusing yourself, or that's not the word. <clears throat> well, I mean, it could be a, a poor representation for Christians Parading. in general. Yeah, for Christians in general, because we are all part of the same family. But like you're seeking males to look at you in a like a lustful way. Not all of them that dress like that. That may not be their desire, but it is what's happening. So they need to be made aware of that, right? Yeah, I don't know. But why is that a big deal? Why is it a big deal? Yeah. Because lust is a sin, and yeah. they're causing men to be sinful. They're causing their brother to stumble, is what scripture says. About oh, that. yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, as good sisters in the Lord, we need to be considerate and mindful and thoughtful of our brothers. And I've heard a lot of people say, well, it's not my fault. They can turn their eyes. Yeah, they can. But should we help them? Should we make it more work for them? Or should we help them, right? 
So I hear what you're saying. I think I'm trekking with you. Do you feel like, I mean, it's good that we notice that and it's good that we are mindful of how we dress in front of others as well. But do you think that you could be like casting a stone here, being judgmental or condemning? No, I don't think I'm really doing that. I think it's just like... Does it make you sad? Does it make you jealous? I guess I'm not comfortable doing it, so I don't understand how they are. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I don't like being looked at. And so I definitely do not want a male looking at me like, mm, hot mama. Right. Especially if I'm... Like, if some look at me like that anyways when I'm wearing normal clothes, mm -hmm. even more will look at me like that when I'm wearing, like, mm -hmm. hoochie mama stuff. Hoochie mama stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I don't know. So what can we do about it? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't, man. I don't know, man. I mean, when I was younger, I remember saying to some of my friends... You wore whore clothes? I didn't wear whore clothes, no. Although there was a, a season in my younger teens, I knew I was uh, very well developed. I would wear, I wouldn't button the top couple buttons of my blouse. For some clavage? I did, I admit that I did because mm -hmm. I was proud um, that I had what other girls my age didn't. <laughs> and I knew that boys thought it was cute, but I didn't understand how extreme it was for them. I didn't realize that it was a struggle for them not to look at me lustfully. I think at the time I just thought it was attractive, right? I didn't understand how significant it was. And it actually was one of my girlfriends, this is just in middle school, I think I was in eighth grade. She said, you know, you something along the lines of, you know, you're not really giving a good witness to Jesus and other people in the church. Uh -huh. And I was really ticked that she said that, that I couldn't stop thinking about it, and I stopped dressing. I, I started buttoning another button on my blouse, let's put it that way. So even, and I was a Christian, right? So even as a young Christian girl who was raised in a good home where I learned right from wrong, I still didn't have the ability to process through that. So, Maybe when you see other people that you feel you, that you can, you just kind of mention it. You don't have to take on a different tone with different people. You know, like when I'm with you, I say, you're a freaking moron. But you you know me. You know I'm joking. You know that I'm not truly mad at you. You know the difference. Stop. <laughs> right? <clears throat> you know the difference because you know me. So you might have to be really cautious with your tone or the words you say. You know? But to get the point across, for sure, for sure. My body, my choice. It is your body, your choice, right? That's what they say. But they need to know that sometimes your choice is just selfish. Real. That has been the song of the day, hasn't it? Because you played it like 30 times earlier. I did not. You did. I played it like three or four times earlier. And that was just a short. It wasn't a whole song. We should play the whole song. Your hair looks is really looking pretty. It looks greasy at the top. Well, and yet it's more... What's the word I'm looking for? Fluffy. It's not stuck to your head. All I'm feeling is the baking soda that we did completely. <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm offended by that! Yeah, but that was right in my face. My, you were in my, you stole area. my you were in my bubble. You're right. You got me on that. You're right. So because I was in your bubble, that means I lost all rights. Yeah. Okay. So that means you stopped caring about me because I was in your bubble. I could have put you first. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you heard that? I don't know. <laughs> it's on yes. So like what I was saying was like like a Christian female like like living for God Christian female. They need to be like I don't get when they dress 
like with like a lot of skin shine. or like I don't get why they're dressing like for other people or like they could say that it's like for them like because they think it's cute or they think it's attractive or whatever but I, they I'm saying they need to be mindful of like the people around them and like what males are thinking when they see it or what right like what other Christians are thinking when they see it too like them dressing like that well I think a lot of them don't realize they haven't been taught and you think about it our society is teaching them all the more that they this is what's attractive and so there's this need, this desire to fit in. So society is saying this, and because that's all they hear, they don't stop to think about the other. They're ignorant. And I don't mean that in a slamming way. They don't, they don't know. They don't get it. So that's why it would be important for someone to tell them. Obviously parents, but as you know, there's a, a time in a young person's life, they're not going to listen to parents. So... Oh. It's important to have friends and mentors and teachers and youth pastors, and right? Mm-hmm. But you're right. They should be mindful. We should all be mindful of our actions. But if we're not, it isn't necessarily because we're jerks. It's because we just don't know and we need someone to help us and tell us. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. I know. All these big questions in life, right? I don't know. Especially, I mean, Scripture tells us that we are to come out from among them and be different. Being different is a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's an honorable thing. But it's sometimes an uncomfortable thing. And your generation, it's, it's almost like Gen Z is in a frenzy. Uh-huh. There's just so many different, I'm going to say oddball, off the wall things, but I, I don't believe that. It just appears that because I think Gen Z is hungry. They're hungry. They're, they're, this generation is more open to, your generation is more open to spirituality than I think much of the other previous generations. They want the truth, but because they're being bombarded with there is no truth, they're finding their own truth, they're blah, 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 blah. They're clueless, so they're searching. So they seem like they're in a frenzy for crazy. Instead, they just need to know that what they're looking for is Jesus. Not I'm sorry. <laughs> not, the, not the latest and greatest fashion. And... So when you see a girl dressed immodestly, if you know she's a born-again believer, regardless of how strong, quote-unquote, you think she is in her walk with the Lord, you have a responsibility to say something to her on behalf of your brothers in Christ and on behalf of her. Like, she needs to be honored, and she needs to learn to honor herself and honor her body and treasure her body. You know what I mean? Yeah, because only the men you're marrying. It should be. And obviously a person can still have a, a wonderful marriage if they had relationships outside and before it, their marriage. But there is something special yeah. about knowing unto this one only. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, is your phone oh boy. Am I going to be in the vlog? <laughs> Trixie, be nice. <laughs> we love Daniel. Don't point at him. You're gonna lose a finger. Oh no. no. Yeah, we've just been like it's doing hot. vlogging it's all hot. the things. I'm sorry. We just had a conversation about modesty. Yeah, we did. Wait a minute. About females. All right, how do you feel, Daniel? Oh, let's. It's on now. What is that? So go there, Sunday. What's going on? Don't look at the camera. Don't worry about that at all. Just we're having a conversation. We were talking about females, uh, Christian females dressing immodestly. How do you, do you feel about that, that as a young man? Males How do you consider astray? And modest? Like oh heavy goodness. cleavage oh and like goodness. booty cheeks hanging out. I feel like certain swimwear can be acceptable, but I feel like as a man of woman of God. <laughs> 
you should try to be modest. Like, where's the clothes that Sundays wear? Like, it's okay. you know, just regular. And the question is then why? I feel like it would be wrong to try to. It's weird. What you said a minute ago, like, it can stray away, like, men. Okay. By you and them. Okay, but so now both of you take out your feelings. Okay. Like, you feel it could cause someone to stray, or you feel a young you feel it could cause a young man to lust, right? I don't feel that. That's what it does. Okay. To some men. But there are other people who feel, well, that's their problem. They should learn to look away, right? So if let's take all the feelings out of it. Okay. Whether if, it's if you don't want a man to look, then don't dress that way. But but I understand the man should control himself. But if you're doing something that isn't normal, not but just it is a, normal in today's society. Not yet. What do you mean not yet? Yes, you can't is. go walk out fully nude. No, but I mean fully nude. I get okay. I in see decent. what you're saying. It is normal, yeah. I I don't know. It, both sides have like good arguments mm -hmm. because I could argue both sides as well. But like, of course, I'm not, what I would choose is mm -hmm. for girls to be modest, like y'all were saying. But right. like, I don't know, because there's so many counterpoints to what I could say. Well, so I go back to I, my statement, take your feelings out, take their feelings out. Mm -hmm. Why is it not appropriate for young women to dress? Well, older men, scantily. predators, and also you're probably putting a bad view on the children. Like you don't want, especially as a mom, you don't want to be going around half naked and you have a you're out with your son, daughter, whoever. But that's your feeling or opinion. If their feeling, feeling or opinion is, no, this is liberating, this is healthy, this is free, right? So that's what I mean, take feelings out of both sides. Why, what's the argument as to why women, or even men for that matter, should not dress scantily? Scantily, it's a funny word. I don't um, think, I'm just kidding. I'm trying to think, like, Trying to take I out of it instead of being like, yeah. or feeling sorry, not I, but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just, I think it comes down to a moral thing. Like, some people believe that they should be able to be free and express themselves mm -hmm. through their clothing, and mm -hmm. like some people express themselves or through their clothing, or, right? yeah, or lack, lack of clothing, of yes. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's like some things that some people do, like. People express themselves through their work or art. I guess some people can do it through their clothing. I don't think it's for us to be able to agree or disagree whether that's how they express themselves, but I don't think we should have to agree with them. Right. But they, female, women dressing like that need to be more of like the men that are looking. Wait, sorry. I didn't know. Females, I know. Females that are dressing like that need to be mindful of who is looking. Yeah, that's what I was going to go back like to earlier. Like, how much, like, Trixie. of their body that people don't need to be seeing that they're seeing. But, couldn't you then go back to that one feeling or opinion against another? Yep. So, if you take feelings and opinions out of both sides, what's the reason why? I'm getting at something here, guys. You know what I'm talking about, Ty? No, we need chicken food. All this talking makes me hungry. Of course it does. Everything makes you hungry. <laughs> go eat chicken food. Okay. But, um, hey, we're matching. Oh, you are, yeah. So I what's the reason why? I don't know, Mom, tell us. Oh! That's no fun, though. That's not what I think. Or, what's the reason why? Well, scripture says to not cause your brother to stumble. Oh, I didn't know we could so, quote scripture, or quote scripture. Well, that's, but that's not our feelings, it's his feelings. It's not their feelings, it's his feelings. And since he's the one who created us, he's the one who sets the standard. He is mm -hmm. truth, period. But some people do not feel that he created. You're right. You're right. And some people feel that they should have their own feelings. Right? You're absolutely right. by his feelings or not. Correct. And obviously that's the world we live in. And mm -hmm. we as Christians- He's eating the chicken food. Okay, go get it. Who is the dog? Real mommy, what are you doing? What did she just say to you? So we as Christians, when we know his word and we learn to pull our feelings out, we just walk with his his feeling on any matter, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And
And that's a lot of work sometimes, isn't it? But when you know what the standard is, and you say, okay, I'm crucified with Christ. I want to look like a whore. I'm just, you know, or like, like really, well, I want to do X, Y, Z because it's fun, because it feels good, because it looks good, because it makes me popular. You want to do whatever it is, but when you take out what you want and you put in what he wants, you're crucified with Christ, you're, and you're learning to walk in line with his spirit in that standard. Over time, it becomes easier. And you can look at others, and you can see that they they haven't yet learned mm -hmm. to put his feeling in a matter into it, right? Yeah. And you can, you can look at them, and you can understand, you can recognize, and you can judge. Society is all worked up over judge. Judgment is not the same as casting a stone or condemning. You can judge, hey, they're not doing this the way the Lord would desire them to do it, but you could, you're not saying, but they're terrible, wicked people. You can just realize they don't know. They don't know what he says. They don't know what to about that. Like they don't know right, either. right. They don't know. And so we're judging, but we're not condemning. In that place. All right, stop it. Right? And so there's a, there's a level of real freedom for us as Christians when we recognize it's not about what I feel, it's not about what they feel, it's about what he feels. And I recognize that right now they don't know any different. They don't know any better. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the Bible also say to like not look for the like gratification of the world? Or like and the closer you get with God, the more the world will hate you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically. So like, I mean they if, persecuted him first. Well, but if you're blessed are blessed are you when you're persecuted for my name's sake, is what he says. Yeah. And it says to come out and be different. He desires us to be different, and he, it's his desire that ultimately matters. And there's a lot of people that would be frustrated with that statement because, like you said, they, they, they deserve the right, but, and they have the right. He's given them that freedom in the garden. We, we took that choice. Mm -hmm. And now look at the hot mess we're in. Ha. You know? Women. Right? Man. So. Oh my goodness. What? We just said real funny at the same I time. Realize. Same key and everything. I didn't even realize. All right, can I turn this off and go with this conversation? Oh, oh I was yeah. oh, no. We have been having we've been having major conversations all day. Have we talked about you? Not on camera. You so talked about me. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Trixie's oh looking the chicken poop. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. All right, so where is it at? Here. Here. All and right. then, like, when I lift it up, it's just still up here. What is that? Can I smell it? Mm -hmm. What are you putting on him? Whoa. Strong stuff, huh? What are you putting on him? Wintergreen. Oh. Ooh, I heard it crack. Yeah. It does that sometimes. And then I'm going to put peppermint. children <laughs> what I need is a massage what well, you not you have to take your shirt off no I need a massage because <laughs> can I give you oh, I was talking to Sunday I think I need to go to the chiropractor because sometimes when I wake up in the morning my lower back hurts go to the chiropractor then I don't have it's money it's like $200 for a visit yeah, no, thank you. I don't even have ten dollars. Does your folks have insurance? I don't know. I mean, I figured, yeah. I can't even feel my shoulder anymore. I don't know. I can't tell. What do you mean you can't feel it? Is it the wintergreen? Numbed it or it's what? It's wintergreen, winter and then I put peppermint. So wintergreen is warming, and peppermint is cooling, and peppermint pushes it down in. Whoa! I can actually lift my arm up. What the heck? I couldn't do this. What? That's your first oil experience, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See? Why? Mommy, why are you acting surprised? You've seen it do that before. That worked No, instantly. I was saying what, like teasing him. Like, what? Like there's actually something oh, to like it? sarcasm. Crazy. Well, yeah. I can actually lift my arm up without it hurting. Now do you realize what I'm talking about? That was quick. Man? Like, that was instantly. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you guys doing? I tried to get out. <laughs> It's not my hand, too. That's not amazing. Mm. Mm. It's strong, yeah, but it smells good. You see that? The camera's, yeah, yeah, go yeah. pick it up off camera. 
this is our this is our panel center of attention in here. Yeah. Oh. So guys, yeah. What do we careful with your stuff hanging out? My stuff. Let's talk about modesty. See what Daniel gave me? I gave her this. Oh, that looks pretty. They're my favorite. You knew that though, right? No, actually I didn't know. You promise? Yeah. I didn't know. I was gonna bring them to yeah. I Daffodils are my absolute favorite flower. Is there a reason behind it or is it just They just make like... me feel good. They I feel like they're my natural antidepressant. If she were an animal, when spring comes, I look at them. Are you special? <laughs> Don't you said it. if she'd be an animal, she'd be a flower. No, <laughs> like, that's what you just said. That's like what, that's that's, just, uh, that's her spirit. It was animal. on camera. That's her spirit animal. Are you special? Are you special? What is it, chicken? Oh, you're stretching. Yeah, that's what she did. All right, what are we talking about now? Let's do this. All right, guys, what's Ooh. your um? We should take call in. Yeah, we should start a podcast. You know. That actually be kind of fun. Oh, there was this comment on TikTok that was ar not arguing, but just. You were arguing with people on TikTok? About. That was your first mistake. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Having the TikTok app was your first mistake. I've Very been thinking real. about deleting it. I told Sunday that, yeah. No, Because it takes up too much of my time. Well, so. Yeah, that's why you set like a limit. No, even if there were a limit, you. But you and I both honestly, would still keep watching. Honestly. Some of the stuff that I see on TikTok, because I, like, on the bad stuff, I'll click, like, not interested, so it doesn't show as much stuff like that anymore. So, like, honestly, my whole For You page oh, now sad. is just, like, like Bible talks and, like, scripture and, like... So you learn what to Like, consume. Christian relationships, mm -hmm. yeah. It, the app, it's kind of creepy. It, like, learns what you Yeah, like. it does. And so, like... Yeah, but so does, I mean, all of social media. You know I mean, yeah... <laughs> Like, I love animal stuff, right? So guess oh what? I, when I'm on any of my social media oh my things that I subscribe to, every animal video that's available pops up, and I have a hard time helping myself. It just sucks me in because I want to see I that. Love the dog videos. Yeah, or that, that donkey survived the fall or whatever. I don't have social media. I have, uh, I have TikTok, but I don't comment on anything. So I don't talk to people, so I don't know. Good. Okay, so Dana, you're used to saying though. I mean, it's a personal um, conviction, I think. About deleting TikTok. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just, it takes up too much of my time. Like, mm, it steals I from you. Yeah. She could be productive. Exactly. I could be a lot more. Productive. But what were you used to? There was something that you said caused you to I don't know. I was trying to find. Trying to remember what it was? Yeah, I couldn't recall what I was thinking. Wow. Are you hungry, dog? I don't want to talk about it. You want to go to Dollar General? I don't have money. What's the Dollar General? Food. Snacks. Snacks. Hey, I think you have one of those stupid spicy ramen bowls in the pantry. I want to eat that. But Daniel needs food too. Okay. There's still fruit in the fridge. There's hey, you want to make a fruit carrots. salad? There's baby carrots and ranch dressing. Finish that up. Daniel, we can cut up like fruit and make a fruit salad. That's not. Fruit. He doesn't like rabbit food. Well, it's you can have rabbit food That's plus something say, else. Dog. You need rabbit food plus something else, Daniel. <laughs> not just rabbit. I only food. like meat and Look protein. Look at this one, guys. The white one. Yeah, well, the white and the yellow isn't necessarily my favorite, but I love how thinned out it is. Oh yeah. The king. What are they called? Are they called king ours yet? I don't know. And then there's these teeny, 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 tiny ones. Multiple heads will come on one stem. Those are my two favorites, like the opposite ends of the spectrum. My tummy hurts. I'm on the spectrum. We know. We well, know. we do realize that. Mm -hmm. That could be very offensive. How dare you? Yeah, we shouldn't say stuff like that. I mean, come on. Who cares? We're not going to get canceled. <laughs> you don't know. I do know. To be fine for now, but 10 years later. Into our podcast. Bro, 10 years into the future, someone's going to pull it up. Oh my gosh, in 2023. This these people, people said some about retard kids. I sure do hope the Lord comes before them. No, I'd like to get married and like have a family before then. I mean, hopefully, I fingers crossed. I'd like to be able to live an adult life. Literally, nobody asked you. I don't care. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. 
Is it a vlog pass? Is that uh -oh. called a vlog? Here. Oh wait, is it stopped? No. I can't tell. Low it's battery. Still going, but no, low battery. battery. We've been doing this thing all day. <laughs> yeah, because it needs to be charged. Mama, yeah. I messed up my nails. You did. I spent so much time working okay, on picking them. Picking at I'm not picking them. You just work. probably lean on the couch or something. Like yeah. Them. Hey, you want to run around the yard barefoot? Mm. Let's see. Now I have a child on the spectrum. I feel I have the right. To speak about. Me not too. And I have a sibling that's on the spectrum. So, do we have the right to joke about it? I feel like. Yeah. It's like black people being able to say the N word. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. But I have I have black friends that say the N word, and they allow me to say it. Well, they want me to say it. What is? Why is that funny? <laughs> they allow you to say it. They, so you well, do. I mean, yeah, I felt like they had to be allowed, right? Because <laughs> I wanted to honor them. But, but just because they say it amongst themselves and they kind of expect me now to do it, I still don't. Feel they comfortable. expect you. Yeah, because it makes me part of them. But I, it doesn't. It still doesn't feel comfortable because I know that that, it, that term has such disrespect. Has history. Has a history. Oh, let's not go there. Okay. It does have history, but you it don't need to hold on to it. Hey, let's think the so. fast in the past, you guys. Am I right? Don't look back there. You're it's, not going we don't that have direction. To read it in the past. No, five We don't it's one thing for you to glance over your shoulder where you've been, but you don't want to turn around and stay focused on it because then you're gonna crash. You're not gonna go forward. Focus on the past. Real. I like the that. Yeah. So like come on. That. That's not where we're going. We don't need to stay focused on that anymore. Learn from it and move forward. It does more hurt to hold on to the past than it does to just let it go. Yeah, that's so true. But it's hard though to let go of the past a lot. Yeah. I I've know. been wounded by people. It has nothing to do with my it color, my, my skin, right? Mm -hmm. Or my culture. It's just they hurt me. And it was it's hard to let go. But if again, if I sit and focus on that, I'm gonna crash. Exactly. It's like somebody focusing yeah, it's on my so hair. Well. It's thick too. I know, that's why it looks like that. Take off your shoes. <gasps> let's no. No, let's not do that. No, because he so I have, you know how I like running around barefoot he outside? totally screwed your toenails. Up. I know. No, he doesn't like walking around barefoot outside. Does it hurt? It don't. It does not. Don't. It doesn't. It don't. You're so used to it. I grew up not, <laughs> isn't it true, Mom? Didn't I grow up not wearing shoes outside? You did. So did your father. Yeah, I learned it from my dad. Okay. Because yeah. he a real one. We should go make a teepee. What is, the, what is a this? A TV? Would you tell me? in the woods. What is this? I don't, it's just this Literally, thing. it's just like a gang. But what it's is not it? a gang sign, but gang it's sign? like. No, it's, it's like, like a. It's like a. a it's like a like post for, for, a, like, for a selfie. Like. I don't know how to explain Or like, it. yeah. But what did that mean? I don't know. Okay. I'm try I'm not trying to be gross or like whatever, but it, to me, it's, it looks like he's saying, I'm going to hold my sack. No, because. <laughs> what? So, no, because they do it like. Like, not picture? like down here, but no, like, like, it's, oh, like, like in front of their face. So, like, say this is the camera, we'd be like. Or like, yeah. Or they go because he's so big and long, he's got to go up and high. I'm sorry, I'm really so. truly not. No, trying to be dog. Nervous, but she's talking about his schlong. Oh no. way up there. That, that's truly what my older brain thinks. At least I don't think stupid kids. Well, sometimes I do. But like, I think, what are they? What are they trying to say? Why are Why are we doing this? Maybe what is it's this like about? faux inches. <laughs> Why is that funny, Mom? We crossed the line. Ah, oh, we crossed the line. Oh my goodness. Oh, but that, Wait, if that's the case. <laughs> Stop it. Ew, I do not need. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's that's no, what older thing, people though. think. I think. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it, if it meant for real. You know. Probably for maybe for real. Maybe it means for maybe real. for real. I don't know. Can people do be oh, saying like B F F R? Why? Or like, sorry. <laughs> Why what? You talking about the spin? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Why'd that. you spin on the porch? <laughs> at least I've been spinning off. I don't even know you were I spinning. I haven't been spinning at all, guys. <laughs> all right, I need to go charge my phone. For real. Faux schedule. <laughs>